Hello everyone. So in this third uh, tutorial, we'll take a look at some of the things you can do to um, create a nice layout, save it as an image if you want to bring that into the PowerPoint presentation, uh, for instance. So this is where we left before at the end of the of the second tutorial. So we have the Lac La Porte uh, map sheet with some transparency with the hill shade in the back. And we also I wanted to show the, um, the striation record across this, this map sheet. So this is one example of perhaps something you want to show in, in a PowerPoint presentation. So how do you go about creating a nice map where you have coordinates, a scale, a legend, all of these things? OK, um, I'll, I'll show you how to do this quickly in QGIS. So the first thing you need to do is create a new print layout, okay? And then you give you give a name to the uh, to the print layout. So we could call it for example uh, layout A. All right. And then you click okay. That's going to open the layout and then after that you go to add item, you want to add a map and, and then you select an area. It doesn't have to be the correct extent at the beginning. It's going to render the map and center it automatically. Now you want to change the, um, the size of, of the map layout so that it fits this. And you might also want to rotate the map so that it, it's not tilted like this okay so um, so these are a couple of things that you can do okay now these are a couple of steps so I've already created a map layout that has everything I want to show you so it'll it'll be easier so here's an example of a map that you could create it doesn't have to be like that uh, but this is an example of some of the features that you can uh, that you can add so so the first thing you want to do is perhaps resize the layout to the to the map itself. And so one way of doing this is you go to item properties and then to extent and you put the coordinates, the approximate coordinates. You might want to create a little bit of space, but um, but you can use the coordinates of the border shape file, the extent of the border map shape file that you have, and use those to define the extent of your layout. And then if you want to put a legend or something like that, you need the page to be a little bit bigger. So then you can come here and just change top, bottom, left, give a little bit of space and then maybe more on the right side to put a legend in okay if you want you can add the grid lines of the uh, utm coordinates so so then you can define all these things in there so for example the grid here you can add a new grid And if you click on modify, this is where you can specify the interval, what type of, of line style you want, all of these things. You can decide to just have coordinate labels on the top and left, for example. Uh, so you can select all of these options here. You can rotate the map again so that it fits better with uh, the box. And then after that, you see on the left side here, you have a number of options. You can add a scale bar, you can add a north arrow, and you just have to select where you want to place these things on the map and you can resize them, etc. Okay, and then when you add the legend, the legend is a little bit more complicated because It'll be, first of all, it'll be generated automatically, but those automatic legends are generally not very good. They, they will put everything that's on your map with the shapefile name, so it's probably not what you want. So you'll want to 
remove the auto update and then go in there remove some of the things that you don't want to show in the map legend you don't need everything and then you only show the items that are in the link map and here you can edit for example a title so if this will be by default the geopoly or the name of the shape file of your map which doesn't necessarily it's not very useful for for whoever's reading your uh, your map so you you want to change that so you can click here on the edit and you can change the name so i renamed the shape file here in the legend i just called it surficial unit and then i have the list of surficial units same thing with the striations here that was the pflow shape file and i changed the title uh, to striation so it's just nice and clean nice and clean legend here that's generated okay and so once you've got that you can also set the precision of this so that you don't have too many useless numbers um, these are the utms if you prefer you can use the lat long as well but i just decided as an example to show you the utm grid on on this map okay so once you have a nice layout like this and you're happy uh, with the result and you see that the purpose of doing this is for the for example when you want to show a powerpoint presentation you don't want to show necessarily everything so you don't want to show the government pdf poster of the map with everything on it written like it's a huge map so if you if you crop it if you reduce it to fit on a powerpoint slide nobody's going to be able to read anything so that's why the layout this if you do this in the gis then you can select the features that you want to show for that particular presentation for that particular slide uh, you can break down the map into a couple of derivatives a few different maps showing different things so it's just easier for for uh, for the readers to follow and to see very nicely very well what's on your map so this is an example where i just want to show the surface shoal unit with the hill shade in the back and the striations in the water body that's it so i'm not showing all the landforms for example i could use another map to create to show just the like let's say the drumlins and the crag and tells and all these things it, i could create another map showing just these things right so it gives you a lot of flexibility so when you're ready you have a map and you know where it's going to fit in your powerpoint presentation and uh, then you can save your layout and you can export you can export as pdf or you can export as image image is nice you can export as a PNG format and you can decide on the uh, on the resolution um, of, of your image, for example. Okay. And here's what it could look like in in a PowerPoint presentation. So once you you've created your image from your map layout, you can bring it in um, PowerPoint with your legend. Now there's a lot of subunits here. So for the presentation, you can present just simplified uh, version of the, of the map. It's not complete, I didn't put everything. It's just to give you an example of how this could be done. It can be done differently. It could be um, a brief uh, description or, you know, it, there are different options. And then you've got, oops, I forgot parentheses here, but you've got your title. The map there the legend the reference for the complete map in detail legend so this is an example of of a slide that's professionally done using qgis and all the map layers just to show certain features not the entire not every layers that came with your map but just the ones that you want to show specifically on the slide so you can use a, a few slides to show different things about your chosen study area.